English, you're not going to get much help. <laughs> uh. I see you are surveying the... Do you remember which uh, tubes of Daniel Smith you got me? I did not. <gasps> Where are you picking this one? Which one? This one. You Am I in blue? You sure. Why don't you paint with it? Why don't I? Yeah. It's still full. Because I have a lot of paints. Okay, well, you're gonna paint with that one. This is tough? Yes. Four color combinations. No, it's okay. How about pick colors that you like? I think you're gonna end up with primaries. <laughs> <and> only primaries. <laughs> That's fine. Only colors. <laughs> mm. Are you going for the primaries? Mm. <laughs> you, can, you can burn sienna. Really? Do you want to pick my brushes? No. Why not? These ones are not watercolors. No. Do you need a tour of what is what? Or do you want nope, to? Nope, I'm just gonna pick a random. Oh, you're so sweet. You picked me up a tiny brush. <laughs> oh, you picked me up a flat. Wow, you are so generous. Okay, I think that's good. Oops. Yeah. Pen. Oh, you need a white gel pen. Do I? Yeah. Do I really need one? I get one of those? Okay. I know I don't have that many pencils left. Is this long enough? This is an eraser, right? Yes, that's an eraser. That was so aggressive. What did that eraser ever do to you? Hey there, YouTube. Happy Friday. Hope you are doing well today. So as you saw earlier, I had my fiance pick out a bunch of art supplies for me to use. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually quite impressed with what he picked out. Like. He did a really good job! Oh, that was really sweet! Okay, so he picked out one of my favorite silver black velvet number two. He doesn't know this is my favorite, but it is. He also picked out the Truckle three quarter inch flat brush. This is a golden Taclon. He also picked me up the Terracotta and Scarlet Red Prismacolor Color Erase Pencil. Not bad, pretty good choices. Now this one, I'm not too excited about. Um, maybe. Uh, so we have Burnt Sienna, Indian Yellow, and Mayan Blue Genuine. Uh, actually, Indian Yellow was one of my first Daniel Smith watercolors, and Honeyball actually did give it to me. Uh, Burnt Sienna, I believe, was a gift from Sarah Tepes. <laughs> Love you! Um, Mayan Blue Genuine, this was, how would you say? My local Jerry's Autorama was clearing out their um, five milliliter rack, so all of these were on clearance, and I'm like, oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna grab it all. Okie dokie, moment of truth. Ooh, we got some globs in there. Okie dokie, she'd be pretty. I'm gonna thin that out ever so slightly. That's pretty. Look how rich and saturated. You're gonna give me some really cool blends today. Finally, we have the Mayan Blue Genuine. So the Mayan Blue Genuine in Turner is really difficult to use, but I believe this one is a little bit darker.
We have a little sample of the Mayan Dark Blue supplied by Denise in liquid, in, in liquid color. I keep adding extra words and I think I'm going to prefer this blue more just because it has a darker value range. So she sent me this kit, I think two years ago or a year ago. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. So I did a really quick um, behind the scenes for my patrons. I do like snapchats and I chit chat a lot more than I'm able to on Instagram stories without blowing up everyone's feeds because it's like about, it's a lot of stories. Any hoozles. Um, I just saw that my patrons asked for Animal Crossing's art and I, sorry that I just saw that now. So I thought this would actually be rather fitting because last night Honeyball, <laughs> Uh, dressed my character like I asked him like so dress my character what do you think is me and <laughs> I think it's I think it's adorable how the colors he picked up for me today kind of correlate to um, the colors right here um, I know I'm not gonna be able to hit some of those nice vibrant peaches in here I don't know if I can cheat uh, Okay. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting to do Animal Crossing art today. Like yesterday, I knew I wanted to. But I was like, oh, come on, Tori. But it's Friday. Have fun. So when I posted this on my stories yesterday, my dear friend Jen from back in Florida when I used to live down there by myself. Uh, <laughs> she responded to my stories and said that looks very much like me. And I was like, wait, how? Like, I don't wear a police hat. And uh, <laughs> I hope this next comment doesn't um, shift your perception of me. So this was like years ago, probably back in 2014. And she goes like, yeah, well, the police hat reminds me of your radar detector, your police detector. <laughs> and I forgot I used to have one of those in my car. And um, and she said like the sunglasses were a total Tory thing. I really do like aviators. Man, this is looking stiff. All right, let's loosen up. Let's make some broader marks. This pencil is having a moment. There we go. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you want that I to be? No idea this is gonna happen. So I'm not gonna be able to mix the darkest darks. With the colors I gave you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your your uh, barbell in there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I should put my kettlebell in there. <sighs> Good call. And your, uh, I want your Godzilla section in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a derpy looking um I was just thinking like, oh, this is kind of fun. <laughs> I'm a little glad that he suggested doing this. Look, 
let's mix some skin tones using the burnt sienna. Actually, I could probably just go straight burnt sienna. I'll actually do that as a second layer. I'm gonna pick up the ever so slightly. Let's be quick, let's be assertive. Hey, post-production Tori here. So for the rest of this video, or in real time, I didn't exactly chat as much. Um, it was kind of disjointed. I struggled a little bit with the paints, for example, right here with the green and the blue. It's rather gummy, and that's because of the limitations of Mayan Blue Genuine. So I was just quiet in my head and was just focused on trying to make the most out of this painting and I was kind of torn between wanting to go with this antique look or do I get new paints but Honeyball, you know, <laughs> stepped in for me. Oh, I miss Miss Macaron. <laughs> and he picked out a few more colors. I gave him no leadway advice. I just said like, hey, I'm struggling. Um, instead of me picking out paints because this is really a day for you where you pick out what I use and you kind of determine where I go with the day, um, yeah, you pick out the paints. And he got me the Paraline Green. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm really glad he reached for this paint because I actually haven't poured it in any of my palettes yet. I've been hoarding it for a long time. This was definitely, um, a splurge purchase that uh, <laughs> Denise Soden just totally got the whole internet hooked on. Ah, uh, yeah. So the other color is the Conacridum Coral, which is a true favorite of mine, and I just love how it mixes both with a paraline green, you get those really purpley moody tones, and mixed with the Indian yellow, you get like these really cool poppy peaches orange, which worked perfectly for the skin tones. So those two colors were well welcomed in today's painting session. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge to layer up on top of the thick application of the um, Mayan blue. Makes sense, like the more you layer, it just kind of becomes a little bit unstable. But overall, it was a rather satisfying sketchbook session. Like, I felt like I would touch back into those days of where um, I was just opening my sketchbook for myself, and I haven't had that feeling in a really long time. Like, usually there's like one foot in producing art for others, and then the other foot for me, but this felt like it was very much for me. Granted, yes, my patrons did ask for um, uh, Animal Crossing art, but at the same time, <laughs> I feel like my patrons know me so well. Like, they treat me so good. They're borderline enablers. Like, um, to this day, I'm just blown away how spoiled I am by my patrons. That's, they are okay with me just roaming off and pursuing whatever interests me and I forever am grateful for that. On that note, it is Friday. It is time for me to recharge and relax. I am a bit fried, but there is the weekend and I know next week is going to be an amazing week. So I'm going to peace on out, hang out with my patrons. We have been playing Animal Crossings together and it's delightful. Patrons playing Animal Crossings, if you haven't joined our Discord yet, please do. We have a little Animal Crossing channel where all of us are just sharing so many goodies and a lot of them are trading and we visit each other's islands and like, you know, the turn up stock market. So join us. We'll be happy to have you there. My friend code is in there if you want to play with me. Okie dokie, thank you so much for joining me here today. See you next Monday, okay? Bye! Got to know you before you faded away I got to know you Got to love you